What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is all about this, the Epson EF12 projector. So it's going to basically give you your own little movie theater in your house. It can give you up to 150 inch display with 1080p resolution. It's mind boggling how crazy and impressive this is. Now I've done videos and reviews on smaller projectors um, that you know the display wasn't that good and the brightness definitely wasn't that good this is really really good i'm very impressed with this it's a thousand dollars so it's a little expensive but anyways let's take a closer look at this on the top of the projector you get a power button bluetooth and volume up and down as well as the epson logo 3c cd and sound by yamaha on the back of the device, you have an output for audio, you have a USB-A, you have a mini USB, and two HDMI ports. On the bottom is where you put the power cable, which is included in the box. You basically get a speaker all the way around, and the sound, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It's not like over blaringly loud that it like hurts your ears, but if you put this in a you know, fairly small to medium sized room, you'll definitely hear what's going on, especially if you're right near it. And then on the front of this, you get the lens, which allows you to you know, display it onto your wall. And I'm, I'm using it on a wall, so you can use it on just a plain wall, or you can use it on a screen if you have a screen for your projector, but otherwise your wall works perfectly fine. Checking out the remote, you get a power button, YouTube and an app button, a Bluetooth button if you wanna connect Bluetooth speakers, as well as a button that allows you to change the inputs. Below that, you get your directional and select buttons. Then below that, you have a back button, a button that allows you to speak into the remote to talk, a home button, volume button, and then adjustment buttons, as well as a settings button to control the projector. The remote does run off two AAA batteries, which are included inside the box. All right, so now let's take a look at the projector in action. Okay, so all the lights in the room are turned off and this thing, like I said, is bright. It's very, the colors are rich and deep and beautiful, full HD, 1080p resolution. And I don't even, I'd have to measure it, but I mean, the closer you move this, the smaller the screen you get, and then the further you pull it back, the, you know, the larger the screen will get. But this display is huge right now in this room. It's literally bigger than, it's probably the size of a cow king bed at the moment. Like think of that as a display. It's ridiculously big right now. It's huge. Um, so let's check it out. So this is the interface you get when you turn uh, this device on. It's literally just, you know, Android TV. It's the older version. It's not the same one you'll get with the Chromecast with Google TV. And a weird thing about this is there's no, uh, there's no Netflix app on here. I don't know why, like it's not pre-installed. You can't, download it and I'll just show you real quick. I'm gonna bring up uh, the Google App Store here and I'll type Netflix. And for some reason there's no Netflix. Again, I don't know why you can, so what I end up doing to get around that is I hooked up, you see there's literally no Netflix app, I don't, I don't get it. But literally you can hook up a, I have a Google TV uh, device hooked up to this or you can hook up a PlayStation 5 which I will show some gaming on this as well to get around that, but dedicated in here, it's not in there. Everything else is pretty much in here. YouTube app, Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO Max, Facebook Watch, Pay Twitch. There's like, there's tons of apps in here. Uh, but again, for some reason, it just doesn't have that Netflix app. I'll just run through some of these, just so you can see if you're curious. But it has most apps, like I said. You know, I think you'd be pretty happy with that. And also the interface, um, not as smooth uh, in terms of a uh, Chromecast with Google TV, but it's, it works again pretty well. It's not. Uh, it's definitely not super laggy it's like some other devices I've used. It's it's pretty responsive, so which is which is a good thing. Now you do also have the settings in the top right. So if we go over here, we can change the inputs if we want. Which there are two inputs. There's HDMI one and HDMI two, so that we're able to uh, you know change devices if we have things plugged in. You can see one says Office TV because that's my. Chromecast with Google TV plugged in. If you're curious which version of Android it runs, it runs Android 9. When we hit the settings button on the remote, we can go and change some of the picture settings, not a lot of them. Uh, you can change the color mode if you want. You can change the light uh, output to make it you know brighter or lighter. 
the they can go into custom settings and change some of the saturation and brightness and things like that you can change the color temperature dynamic contrast change on noise reduction detail enhancement aspect ratio hdmi uh, video range you can also go into sound and change the sound from like a theater mode to something else in here change it from virtual sound voices auto loudness bass extension sound space so you get some you know get different settings in sounds display we can change uh, the keystone which basically i believe changes the look of the uh, you know how square it is and stuff like that corner adjustments you can adjust that the focus this auto focuses and it does a fantastic job i've never had an issue where i've had to come in here and like adjust the focus it's always been really really good uh, if you have it upside down you can i have it set to standard because i have it set standard but if you had this upside down because you had it mounted something like a way like that i uh, can come in here and turn it so it's upside down so that the display shows correctly and then you also have settings in here sleep timers hdmi cec so it can automatically uh, control some of the devices the volume and stuff like that and auto turn it on and off a suspend button you can also uh up update the operating system on here if you go into the plus and you have some stuff in here so if you go you'll see there's, there's a firmware update button so it'll update the firmware for this device and then you also have projector settings which should be the what we were just in a second ago so you don't have to hit that button and then that's pretty much oh you have an update button as well which i think this is yeah this is just going to be like if you want to do an online update you probably don't need that one but Interface, very simple to use and get used to. And then again, you also have the two HDMI ports to take hold of all the entertainment stuff, just in case, you know, you don't like this setup that they do give you. So I have my channel loaded up here just so you can get an idea of the sound and quality of the video. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's check out one of my videos. All right, because I got one of my videos showing up here. I'm going to show you that you can go into more and it does play in 4k even though this is 1080p so you get the ultimate best quality with this let's turn the volume up all the way TV. this video is a really cool one why because i have other youtube content creators from the tech world that have given me their list of favorite products to buy under 100 bucks for this year. it does get pretty loud especially for like a smaller room it's which is great Let's put up, let's fast forward a little bit. As we've rushed to get rid of nice headphone jacks in our consumer electronics, out of our tablets, out of our phones, not only can you replace some stuff. It's cool because you can see individual hairs on each person. One of my favorites, and that is this small portable speaker right here by Soundcore. This is the Flare Tube, and it has a bunch of amazing. I mean, even though it's 1080p, it's very sharp. It looks beautiful. It looks really, really nice. And lights, those light up when the pad senses the devices are charging, and there is a MagSafe light feature to this charge pad. It looks really, really good. Go into one more here, just so you can get an idea what this looks like. And this is a cool video to show off, just because. It's got multiple people showing different kinds of views on here. Smart home kind of integration stuff. And so you may know or you may not know, I'm huge into wise. Uh, I think- So overall quality of the video is fantastic. It's really, really good. Um, this is a huge display and I'll switch over to my uh, Chromecast with Google TV. All right, great. So now I have the Chromecast with Google TV hooked up. Got Netflix loaded up on here. Play something uh, real quick. I'll jump into this uh, Jurassic World video real quick right here so you can see. It just looks great. You know, the videos are beautiful on this huge, huge display. Great for Netflix, uh, great for you know YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, I love this device, it's, it looks awesome. One thing I wanted to show is Obviously, all my lights are turned off in this room. I'm going to start playing a video, and then I'm going to turn the lights on and show you that, you know, you do lose, lose a little bit of the light. It's still watchable, but, you know, if you're in a bright enough room, it might not be so wonderful. So let's start a video right here. Again, lights are off right now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the light on in this room. And the lights on in the room and again you can still see this and i can see it really pretty much fine 
But again, you do lose some of the, the, the rich color to it. It gets a little bit, little bit washed out. Still usable, but the brighter the room is, the more lights you have in it, the sunlight, all of that stuff, that's where you're gonna run into a little bit of an issue in terms of you know this being as good as you know maybe as like as good as like a TV would be in your room even with all the lights on. So it is something to to, to notice and care about uh, if you do get this projector. So while I have this going on, let me tell you a little bit about the projector in terms of, of some of the specs. I'll put this on the display. You're gonna get up to 20,000 hours of battery life, which equates out to about 10 years with normal usage on here. It is a full HD, meaning 1080p resolution. You're not gonna get 4K. Now it will, you know, you can plug in 4K devices, but it's gonna output to the display 1080p. You don't have any optical zoom or optical lens shift. So if you want to adjust the size of this, you have to physically move it back and forth. You don't have anything to turn on the lens to do that, unfortunately. So now that I showed off videos and the quality of what this looks like with the lights on and off, why don't we hook up some video games, specifically the PlayStation 5, to see how this really, really looks with gaming. All right, the PlayStation 5 is now hooked up. Let's check out what resolution that this is uh, running at. Screen and video, video output information. So even though this is a 1080p display, it says that it's the resolution of 4K. I mean, that's not fully true, but I guess it has a way of tricking it, which is pretty freaking cool. It looks great on here. The colors look great. Everything's pretty sharp on here. I'm pretty impressed with it. Let me load up. Little sack boy on here. All right, got sack boy loaded up here. Let's go into this start of this level and see how well this runs. And this is a PlayStation 5 game. I think it's also out for PlayStation 4, but um, I'm obviously playing it on the PlayStation 5. And it's a pretty fun game. I'm actually glad I got it. Haven't beaten it yet though, but uh, so far so good with this game in terms of the, the funness of it all. All right, let's see what we got, what do we got, what do we got? Getting all these little things here. This probably wasn't the best level to choose to show off this game in action. Oh, here we go. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can find uh, some cool stuff. But yeah, this is very easy to play. The colors look great. The quality of the video also looks really nice. Ooh, did I get it? I got it. There we go. Ooh, these guys are gonna get me. Let's go over here. So yeah, this is, uh, you can definitely play this. This looks in terms of like, if you're worried about quality and stuff like that, it looks great. So let's jump to a uh, maybe a more high-end high-end game on here. Let's go back to the main menu. And uh, let's load up, even though this is a PlayStation 4 game, Ghost of Tsushima. Let's see, the game or app supports HDR, but HDR won't be used because of your TV. So this doesn't have HDR, so it's not going to be able to show HDR. So it's not the end of the world, but it is something to know that this projector does not have HDR. And this game, I'm, I'm not in like the best area, but this game is really, really pretty. Um, especially when you get into like the open lands with all the grass and stuff like that. It's really, really pretty. But this is running really smooth on here. Uh, beautiful, huge, huge display on this. I would be super stoked to play you know games on here especially if you don't really you know care about hdr feel like you need it if you don't think it's a big deal then you're gonna love 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 how large this is and you know a thousand bucks is expensive but at the same time i mean when you think about how large this display can get it's pretty wild and uh, yeah this looks great i don't know if you can tell but you can see the little uh, the hairs, the grains, whatever you want to call it, and all this hay here. It's very, very, like the resolution is great on this. Oh, that wasn't a good jump. But yeah, this looks great. No problems with this. 
brightness is fine. I mean, I would, I, on, I, I mean, I can probably tell I would like it to be a little bit brighter, but otherwise, I mean, it's fine. I can definitely see everything. All right, so let's talk about what I think about the Epson Mini EF12. So it's a thousand bucks, so it's kind of expensive, but when you think about like how large of a display you can get and the quality of the display, I think it's a reasonable price. The overall sound, like the speakers on it, are definitely pretty good. Are they gonna fill a massive room? Probably not. You could hear it, and if there's a lot of people talking, it might not be that great, but if you have a small audience and people are pretty quiet, it's gonna work perfectly fine. What about the quality of the display that it outputs? Now it is 1080p, but it's pretty sharp for the most point, but it would have been great, obviously, why not? If it was 4K and had HDR, it doesn't have those things, but it still will take a 4K input and display it at 1080p, giving you a really good quality photo. Now the brightness is pretty good, especially in a dark environment. Video games are a little dark, um, I would personally like them to be a little bit brighter, again, even in a dark environment. I think video is perfectly fine, but video games I still would like to be a little bit brighter. It's definitely passable and you can see what's going on. But again, I still would like it to be a little bit brighter. When the lights are on and it's a bright environment, it, doesn't, it does lose some of that color quality and the brightness of the video. So don't expect this to be like a true champion like a TV would be in that regard. Another thing that's a little bit difficult about this is that you have to find a location in your house where you can display it. If you don't have a, a, like a pull down white display that you can put this on, you're gonna have to put it on your wall. And at that point, most people don't have like a large open wall that can take full advantage of how large this display is. The other thing you have to think about is do you have a piece of furniture that you can keep this on all the time so that it is at a proper height to actually see the display on the wall or on the screen that you have for it. I honestly had a tough time finding some open spaces in my house and a piece of furniture that was tall enough to be able to see all this. And you also gotta remember, you can't be in front of this like you can with a TV because it's, if you are, you're gonna be you know blocking that on there. You're gonna be blocking that lens, which you'll see shadows and stuff like that. So there's some things to think about, but if you have a nice open room with a big uh, a wall or a projector screen that you can display this on in a pretty open area, maybe you can even hang it from your wall or something like that, this is gonna be great. It's, it's a very good quality projector with good life uh, up to you know 20,000 hours of life. So check it out, you know, it's on Amazon. You got 30 days if you don't like it, return it. Otherwise, again, I'm very happy with this and I'm glad that Epson sent it over to me for review because it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.